Hello and welcome to another episode of Art Tips and Life Flips. This is your host, Neil Shader Siege, and today I'm giving you guys five tips. I don't do tips ever. Not not, not five of them. No. Big shout out to all the people that have subscribed lately. Thank you for subscribing and watching my stuff. I'm back and it's, it's, it's exciting and I'm not lying to you this time because I'm still making videos. These are five tips to dealing with social anxiety. Tip number one. Some people are not going to like this tip. Give me a chance, son. Be yourself plus. It's kind of like taking fake it till you make it, but not exactly. People get upset. They don't, they're like, that's not me. That's not the person I am. I can't do that because that's not me. I'm normally blah, 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 blah. But nobody is normally completely petrified to talk to people. That's not a normal human thing. When we're babies, we don't see people and just start screaming bloody murder. I mean, some people make us scream bloody murder, but not everybody. We can still make and have attachments to people. It's usually the way that we grow up, things that we experience along the way that cause us to become like that because humans are social social beings that's why people go nuts when they're stuck on stranded islands so basically being yourself plus is you visualize the person that you want to be which is still you it's still positive aspects of yourself but so i'll give you an example for me when i wanted to deal with my shyness because i was extremely shy i was very scared of rejection and i was very scared of just people and interaction in general which i know some people are like <laughs> bullshit but it's true don't judge me. What I did was I just projected an image of myself that I wanted to be. I wanted to be more charismatic. I wanted to be able to express my true opinions that I actually had in my head. I wanted to be able to express them in a way that people could understand, you know, with like real people words in whatever language I wanted. And that that part didn't happen. Be the you that you want to be. And project that. Just fake that you're that person already and then after a while it becomes habit and you do become that person because that's just how it works tip number two five second rule i love the five second rule I've, i'm pretty sure i've talked about this rule before five second rule i used to use this all the, i still use this rule all the time when i drop food on the ground actually you no know, that's a different rule this five second rule is when you were scared to do something you tell yourself in your head you don't have to say it out loud you don't have to say it to anybody you say it in your head all right you have five seconds to do this or else and you don't even need a reason as to what's gonna happen i used to do this when i was little and it made sense i'm like you have five seconds or else you're gonna have bad luck i don't know why bad luck was a big deal when I was little five seconds you got to do this thing I was like okay one two bam the thing is what I did is I just blanked myself I literally went into a blank canvas mode and I just threw myself into a situation it's basically like jumping into a pool when you jump you just need to prepare to land in the pool there's nothing else happening after that you were already in the air you cannot stop that fall unless somehow you manage to like cat ninja spin reach out grab the side pull yourself forward that doesn't make any sense stop that stop that thinking no Tip number three, three, three. This is not three. Three. Bomb. N n don't attack. Don't attack, Pete. That's next. I mean, bomb, like, as in, like, just completely fail. Fail. Crash. Burn. Whatever word, descriptive words you want to use for it. You just need to fail as hard as humanly possible because you need to realize that at the end of failing, which is not really failing because failing is only when you actually fully give up, you are not dead you still have all your limbs you know how many times i've fallen over doing something in general i mean like like it's either physically falling like walking down the sidewalk looking at people like hey how you doing and then slipping on black ice you know i got back up i was still in one piece i might have been a little bit bruised but it was totally fine it's the same thing with people you can fall in front of people. You can be like, hi, nice to oh my god. And it's okay. Because next time you do it, you'll be like, well, I actually said hello. Okay, now let me go one more step further. Oh, let me try something else. Oh, cool. I asked them how their day is. Whoa, that wasn't this scary. You keep on trying. Okay, well, the conversation's not going that well. Who cares? You tried. You need to feel how it feels to not do well in the situation in order to get past that point. It's the same thing as art, right? We need to understand how to make a bad painting, feel the embarrassment that kind of comes with it. Like, oh no, this was not good. Tip number four. God damn it. I've said this as well. Stop assuming. Stop assuming. I will slap the And this goes for everything. Don't be like, oh, well, I didn't really want to message you because I was kind of scared that you possibly have... Coming close. Coming close. 
Shut up. Please stop. Just stop assuming things. Don't assume stuff about yourself. Don't assume stuff about other people. Don't assume that this is how this person thinks and that's how it's always going to be. And don't assume that they think this about you. You can't assume anything because nothing is fact. Okay? Anything you make up in your head is your own scenario based off of your own feelings, your own insecurities. And it's not the actual feelings and representations of the other human being that you're trying to interact with. Go in like a blank canvas and be ready to experience something new. That's, 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 that's number four, okay? That's just, you better, you better not do that. And for the final tip, tip number five, and I was gonna say it in another language, but I forgot all other languages. You need to remind yourself that things are things and people are people. No one is the special snowflake that you make them out to be, to be honest with you. Some people have a success, it's cool to admire them, but you still need to remember that those people are human beings. They can't do crazy things. They still live and breathe the same way that we do. We're all human and you should not be thinking of these people as some sort of God just because of some success that they found. Because a lot of the time, these people don't think of themselves as gods or as anything higher than human. Sometimes they do and we don't need to talk to them. They'll know. No, stay away, they will not help you with your anxiety. But at least in the creative community for artists and writers, a lot of people in this community are very, very humble, very down to earth. This is the reason why I was able to talk to so many people that I've looked up to as just regular human beings. I figured, I found out one day that if I just email them and talk to them like we're friends, like not like we're friends, like not like I know them like that. I talk to them as equals rather than talking to them like a crazed fan from underneath them. Of course, I did give them compliments, but because obviously I enjoyed their work, I enjoyed whatever it was that they stood for so do not forget that people are people and you're a person too and you're special you're amazing all right and you deserve to be able to talk to these people and these people deserve to be able to talk to you you don't know if you're a blessing in disguise for somebody you have no idea because you can't assume anything you might become best friends with a celebrity tomorrow you never know you can't assume life is just gonna throw weird stuff at you, it's gonna throw you a bunch of curveballs, and it, 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 it. so hopefully you guys like the five tips that I have. There's a hell of a lot more than just five, but I'm just throwing out five for now. Hopefully you like these tips. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up to just show your support. That'd be cool. Uh, also subscribe if you're new here. That'd be awesome. And share the video with all your friends, all of them, all of them. Anyways, guys, I am extremely, extremely busy. I, I don't even see you guys next Tuesday. Peace.